Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Abby Aslan and I really wanted to do a like week of outfits for work from home that were like realistic um, since I did just start my full-time job in Big Four Public Accounting and I also wanted to do like show you guys while I showed you all of those outfits sort of vlog style. This first portion of the video is going to be my quick like everyday get ready with me in terms of what I do in like five minutes to just sort of like make myself look a tad bit more put together and just feel a little bit better about myself without having to put a ton of my time into getting ready because I truly think it makes me feel just a lot better about myself. I wanted to show you all like my morning skincare and then my um like very very quick like free product makeup that's barely even makeup so hopefully you all will enjoy this and i will leave the products linked down below okay so it's later my hair has dried and i'm dressed but i wanted to share with you all the sponsor of today's video which is hero cosmetics i've been using hero cosmetics mighty patches for over a year they are my go-to for extracting whiteheads and safely taking care of my pimples they truly are your blemish hero and of course i have a code for you all you all can use avi aslan at the link in the description and i will also have it here on screen and that will get you 15% off site-wide at Hero Cosmetics and you can also get free shipping on orders over $35. They're non-drying and they will not irritate sensitive skin. They are medical grade, vegan, cruelty free, FDA approved and safe for pregnant women to use as well. And it's great because they are available worldwide so wherever you're watching you can see how they work for yourself. And basically you just stick the patch on your active breakout or pimple and then you let the patch do its work and do its magic and you will notice after it's been sitting on your skin that the patch starts to turn white where it is removing the gunk from your pimple. I love I love sleeping with these on overnight and I also love them because since they are clear and I can go like run an errand if I need one on like say I have an event at night and I all, all of a sudden have a pimple come up on my face I can just stick one on while I'm getting ready and if I have to like go run out to Target or something and grab something for my nights then I don't have to worry about it being on my face because it honestly kind of covers up the pimple and since it is clear it sort of just blends in with your skin. I love how affordable these are too so much more effective and safe than popping your zits manually and it's just a great way to get rid of your whiteheads. They use the highest quality hydrocolloids, so it's extra, extra sticky, but it doesn't tear or hurt your skin when you remove it. I used to use like the fun acne stickers that maybe have like different shapes or colors, but I realized it didn't really work as well because they didn't stick very well. And I just really love how sticky these are and how effective they are because anytime I have a whitehead pimple come up, I can stick one on and know that it's going to look way less red and inflamed. So great because it honestly just takes care of the pimple overnight for me. They also have an incredible lightning wand, which I also also love because it helps fade dark spots in just days and not weeks so it's a really great way to get rid of those dark spots that sort of occur after you've had a pimple or a breakout it's basically like a serum pen that you can use up to twice daily that uses niacinamide vitamin c and tranexamic acid so it's really really great for those dark spots and age spots you may have on your face and to help lighten them up and clear them up it's super gentle and sensitive to the skin and i love that it's easy to take on the go so you just press this little button on the side right here and as you can see there is serum on the little roller ball and then I just stick it on my little dark spots and roll it on after I've like done my skincare and everything. I have a couple like dark spots from breakouts so I just roll it on up to twice a day. I normally like to do it in the morning when I first wake up and I'm doing my skincare and then again at night. Really, really love this lightning wand and I'm so glad that I found this through um, their brand and I love their Mighty Patches so much and that's how I first found out about Hero Cosmetics and I love this lightning wand and it's seriously so clutch for on the go when you're traveling and if you just need to throw it in your purse and you really want to tend to any dark spots you have. So whether you're wanting to check out Hero Cosmetics Lightning Wand or the Mighty Patch, I highly suggest both of them. If you want to get both, you all can use my code Abby Aslan and that will get you 15% off as well as free shipping over $35 on Hero's website and that link will be in the description box below for you all to check out. And thank you so much to Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Starting off with my skincare, um, I normally will ice roll my face with my Skinny Confidential Ice Roller, um, which a lot of people always ask me like, is it worth it, is it not? Cause it is more pricey than like one you could get elsewhere. And I personally think it is, I mean, don't like, break your budget or anything to buy it but if you set aside money for it and you really want it i definitely think it's worth it it just stays cold a lot longer and it's very durable heavy duty and then i will go in with this ice queen face oil that's from the skin and confidential that i bought in like a bundle with my ice roller when i bought the ice roller when it came out and i put this all over my face and then i just do like a drop or two on my forehead a drop or two on my cheeks and then i rub it in really quickly because it slides down my face and then 
I like to, I just got some in my eye, lovely. And then I just grabbed my little gua sha tool. It is a practice used, I believe, with like Chinese medicine and I, um, I got mine off Amazon, but I suggest like supporting like a small business instead, like to buy yours. I've had these for a really long time. Um, but I usually like to try and just like gua sha on my face and do like five to eight motions quickly. This is something I recently got into. I don't even know if I really like do things right and I've tried to like watch videos but I try to just do like my jaw and then my neck and I try to do like a little shaking motion at the top and then this just helps increase your blood flow in your face um, and your circulation so I like doing this and it just helps me feel a little bit more awake in the mornings too and I just do five to eight of each of these little motions I'm doing five right now because I'm in a hurry And then I go in with the Ordinary Niacinamide. Um, I've been using this skincare routine for a really long time. I just drop a few drops on my fingers. And then I rub that in. And I really try to focus on letting my product sit for a little bit in between each skincare product because I find that my products will pill up and get all like Bali or whatever um, from the combination of water and silicone based products. That's what causes that. So I like to let it sit for a second and I'm gonna go rinse my hands and uh, tap water on my face before I put on my hyaluronic acid because you wanna put hyaluronic acid on your skin when it is damp so that it can absorb the water and you can get the most benefit out of using the product. And then using the ordinary hyaluronic acid. And then I go in with The Ordinary's Buffet, Buffet Serum. I don't really know how you pronounce it. <laughs> You're in the like, mirror in the video. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You don't have to move. I'm just laughing. And then I use, um, I love Cossar X. I love, this is the Propolis Light Cream. Um, and I use this as like my daytime moisturizer. Um, and then I also use some of their products in my nighttime skincare routine. And I just like to massage this into my face and then as i let this set i'm going to talk to you all about some of the next products i'm about to use more in the makeup realm of things since that's my skincare so for makeup this is the dermatology medical grade skincare universal tinted moisturizer and spf 46. i found out about this through katie fawn on tiktok so i owe all the credit to her but she has her own cosmetics line and she has a youtube channel i think which i need to watch some of her videos but she talked about the combination of the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution sunshine, sunshine Drops. These are basically like bronzer drops and then this combined and like how great it is for just like an everyday base. So I love the way her skin looked with it. So I bought this first off Amazon for like, I think it's like $23 or something like that. And then I bought these at my local Ulta. Um, and I bought this first and I tried out to make sure I liked it. And then once I found out that I liked it, then I went and bought these. Um, but you could use any like bronzing drops you have. I don't do this all the time, but when I remember and when I feel like it, I use it. This is the Elleloo's Beauty Oil. I found out about this through Makeup XKA on Instagram. Um, and I normally put it on before I put on makeup, but I also sometimes when I just like want my skin to feel a little bit more luxe, I will put a few drops on my face after my moisturizer because it's like a very thick kind of oil. And, um, I just really like the way it makes my skin feel. It's very hydrating and it's just like a universal kind of beauty oil. And as you can tell, it just gives me a really nice glow and it just sinks into the skin really nicely. Um, Cause it feels oily at first, but then it just like really feels so good on the skin and it just makes my face feel really hydrated like on with all the other products I use. So then I go in with about a pump and a half or two pumps of this because I like to blend it out on my neck. It looks like this. And then um, I go in with about two to three drops of the Drunk Elephant drops. This is literally more expensive than the skin tint is, but it's nice because you don't need a lot um, since a little goes a long way. So I just did two drops since it came out kind of heavy. And then I mix it together on my fingertips. And then I just rub it in my skin really well. Kind of get it everywhere. As you can see, it just gives a very, very nice lit from within kind of glow, which is just like what I want when I'm working from home. If I know I'm gonna be outside for any period of time, 
Um, I will also put on some SPF under this, but there's SPF in it. So if I'm just gonna be like working from home all day and I'm only going outside to walk my dog, I'm fine with the SPF that's in this. Really like it. I don't know if they have other shades cause this is like universal and I'm pretty sure this is like just all there was on Amazon, but maybe their website has other shades. If they don't have other shades and it's just this universal one, I don't know if it adapts to your skin tone. I don't know if it's one of those types of things, but if it's not and this is the only shade they have, then I hope that they get their stuff together and actually get some other shades in there. So I like to like let this sit for a second. Um, and if I really want to, I would put the, if I just felt like I needed a little bit of extra, like, I don't know, lights and just more of a cohesive like look, or if I want it to look a little bit more makeup-y, I would put on the Hourglass Ambient Dim, or Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light all over. It's just like a finishing powder. It's not really a setting powder and it doesn't make you feel like you have makeup on or anything, but if I just wanted to have more of like a set makeup look. And now I'm going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Um, this is just really good for any of you who have dark circles like I do. And it just is like a peach shade. And I just tap it with my pinky finger and sort of just try to like tap it in. And I even put it on my upper eyelid too because my upper eyelid's a little dark, honestly. Um, and it just really brightens up the under eye super well. I try not to drag it, but when I'm in a hurry, sometimes I just kind of have to. And as you can see, this under eye is way brighter than this one. Like look at the glow it provides under the eye compared to like, I do have a glow on this eye because of the other products, but like this one's much more of like a eye brightening look. And I personally do not wear any like mascara or anything during the day, but if you want like a something on your eyelashes, I highly recommend putting um, like Vaseline on a spoolie and then putting that on your eyelashes because it kind of gives them that tinted look because um, it just darkens them a little bit and makes them stand out. Okay, and then last but not least for the quick makeup, I'm going in with this Refi Brow Gel. You could use any brow gel you have. This one's very interesting and hard to work with sometimes, but you really have to like get work it in for it to like work well so it has um this like clear brow gel product and then if you just pull the top off it's like a two-sided little brush comb so i'm gonna brush my brows out first before i put anything on with the thicker brush side and my eyebrows are crazy right now i'm kind of just like growing them out because i'd like to get them threaded eventually but i don't even know if that's ever going to happen so they may just be growing out and looking crazy for a long time so brushing them out first to get any product out and then going in with the spoolie and just brushing, like I'm putting like more pressure at the base of the eyebrow and lightening up the pressure as I flick up, if that makes sense. Um, and just doing this all the way throughout. And I let it sit for a second and as it sits, I know it looks really crazy right now, but I will brush them out again. Bushy brow look just, I feel like doesn't look that great on me. So I do like to brush them up, but I don't leave them really up. I like to brush them down a little bit after that, but I'm going to let the product sit for a second, wash my hands off and then I will brush back through them. Okay. So now I'm going to go through with a thick brush again and just brush them on up. And then I just kind of use the end of the brush. I try to like leave the ends of my eyebrows brushed up because I feel like that makes my face look a little bit more lifted. But then the top front portion, I just use the edge of this to very like lightly push them down, but not all the way, just so they aren't sticking like straight up, but they still are brushed up if you know what I mean. And this eyebrow is an absolute mess right now, so ignore that. That's usually about how I like them to be done. Like I said, my eyebrows are a mess right now, so. I know they look bad. And then for my lips, I like to put on some sort of lip mask. Um, I'm putting on the Laneige Sleep Mask right now. This is the Ginger Snap one. I got it for Christmas in the gift set. Um, but any like clear lip gloss, Vaseline, anything like that will do. I also have a fresh uh, sleeping mask that I like a lot. That is the finished makeup look. Ignore that my hair is up right now. I, need, I just washed it, so I, I need to take it out of the towel so I can air dry some. But that is the finished like everyday makeup look. You could add some like cream blush, cream bronzer if you wanted to take it up a notch, but I personally don't want to spend that much time putting on makeup in the morning. I would rather just spend my, that time doing something else. So this is what I like to do just for like work from home look every day. And now let's go ahead and get into the outfits for this week. All right, here is a look at day one outfit for this week on Monday. So it's pretty cold outside. I think that has like 60 today, which that's cold for Texas. Um, 
but I didn't want it to be hot inside. I did have a sweater on earlier, but I ended up changing because I just was a little warm in the sweater. So I have on this white like satin oversized button down from Misguided. I've had this for three years now, I think. Um, I got it a long time ago and I love it for like business casual wear and it's pretty comfy um, since it is just like roomy and everything and I will leave everything linked down below that I can link. If I can't find the specific link, I will try to leave alternatives. I have on my little Miranda Fry initial necklace and these joggers are from Kalia. Um, they are a really great dupe for the Align joggers from Lululemon. Um, I recently got this. I work with them on Instagram. If y'all do not know, I've worked with them like all of 2020 and a little bit of this year. And these are literally like such a perfect dupe for the Align joggers. They feel just like Align leggings. Like they're really, I don't think there's a difference in the material, honestly. Um, these actually aren't as fitted as my Align joggers, which I actually kind of like because my Align joggers are more fitted on the calf than these are. But I like that these have more bagginess because I just think it's a little bit more flattering than them being like form fitting and then being a little big at the ankle. Um, but they're super comfy, super cute. This top could obviously be dressed up to like actually go in office, but since we are working from home, I'm going to keep this realistic and I'm not going to be wearing jeans. So that's what day one outfit is. Good morning guys. It's time for day two outfit of the day. Um, this sweater is from H&M. I actually just got it in the mail yesterday. It's like this really pretty dark taupe color and it's just like a big knit chunky sweater. I will say I just walked my dog and it's like really cold out. Um, and it definitely like is warm, but it's not warm enough because you can feel the breeze through the hole. So you definitely need like something underneath or a big jacket if you're in a colder climate, but for working from home, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then these leggings are from Aerie. These are the offline leggings. I got these a while ago like when airy leggings got popular again and just a classic black staple legging because i feel like we always need like more than one pair of black leggings and um i didn't want to at the time like buy another really expensive pair so i got another or i got my second pair from airy and then um so these are just the ones i happen to grab out of my clean laundry basket this morning and that is the outfits but nothing crazy today not even like putting on a necklace i literally have my hair clipped back because i need to wash it Right, guys it is Wednesday I don't I always like have my phone but I don't need to be holding it while I'm doing this so today's outfit I am wearing my same initial G necklace the sweater is from Express but I've had it since like 2019 so I will link it if it's available um, and then these pants are the Kalia I think they're the journey pants I'll leave them linked but they are like a straight leg pant but they have like a tie waistband pockets and they feel they're really comfy um but they're not like the fit of leggings but they're also not like as wide as like sweatpants so that's why i really like them and i just kind of have it tucked in and then i've been wearing my uggs since i went and picked up groceries this morning because it was definitely cold this morning um and now it's probably pretty nice outside but chilly with the wind um so yeah that's today's outfit All right, guys, welcome to today's outfits. It's Thursday, we're being cozy today. Um, I am wearing these Lululemon joggers, which are the Adapted State joggers. And then I have on this like long sleeve crop shirt, which doesn't matter since I am online and you can only see like here up anyways. Um, from Aritzia, it's a Sunday best line. It's just like a super cozy ribbed t-shirt. And then it was chilly this morning and it's been chilly in here in the apartment. So I have on this little like cozy little Ugg cardigan. It gives you that like robe feel without like actually being a robe or looking like a robe. Um, so I've just had this on for like warmth and comfort. And that is today's outfit. Hello guys, happy Friday. Today's outfit, just got on this tea from sunday best i couldn't tell from yesterday i really love sunday best like their basics um i think that they're great quality and a really great price but this is just like a really pretty ribbed heather gray top and it's so comfy and i love it and i don't really have any my dog just laid down in front of the camera i don't have any like on camera meetings really today except for quick check-ins so that's why i'm just wearing like a tea um, I was gonna wear something else, but I was like, honestly, I think I'm fine in this. And my leggings are the Wonder Under Luxe Dream leggings, um, black. 
I think these are the 25 inch length. I've had these for a really long time and I wish I would have bought these some more when they were on sale because they're discontinuing them sadly. And they're probably like one of my favorite Lululemon pairs of leggings. So, um, but yeah, I've had them for a while. Mm -hmm.